What's going on guys? Um, this is my build video. I'm gonna call it the mongoose because like a mongoose you're gonna be counterattacking, striking fast. It's a lot of dodge roll, a lot of movement in this build. <coughs> Races for this build, you could do wood elf, orc, red guard are the best races. <coughs> um, I'm a vampire, but it's not needed. You can use werewolf. Um, as long as you slot werewolf on your back bar to get that over 2k regen. So, uh, let's get right into the build. I'm running 5 piece Senchus Bite, 1 piece Blood Spawn, 5 piece Automaton, um, including the Jewelry's Automaton as well. You want the, uh, at least 3 pieces on this build to be well fitted I really don't care which ones um, it'd be preferred if you can get a cinches well fitted because that's the dodge roll set um, it would make sense to do that but I have my head piece in pen chest well fitted shoulders in pen waist in pen hands in pen legs well fitted hands sorry feet well fitted and then the jewelry you want the jewelry to be all robust with all weapon damage and chance uh, your weapons you want the weapons to be the senses weapons or if you can get automaton weapons um, that'd be that's better um, you can do either or but this is easier to get your hands on so it is swords sharpened or a uh, maul sharpened would work which is fine uh, back here on the bow bar you would want a defending bow I had I got sharpened because it's the only thing I could find at the moment, but you would like defending or powered for your heels, the buff of your heels on your back bar. Um, the food that I'm running right now <coughs> is the Orzogas tripe trifle pocket, and you can get this food in Rothgar from Orzoga. I think she's at the uh, Morkel Den blacksmith station. Um, Max health and stand recovery for two hours. You can't beat that, especially for this dodge roll build. The pots that I use in open world are the essence of movabilities. Um, I do the immovables with the uh, health and stam. Um, or you can also do the immovables with the major expedition and uh, the stam whatever works for you <coughs> for the poisons I'm running I don't double bar poisons anymore due to the fix that they uh, put out um, so and plus I have a weapon damage enchant on my bow bar so I like to proc that more often when I'm fighting <coughs> so I can hit harder um yeah you see the poison it uh does poison damage and gives you restores health back to you and it also inflicts the amount of defile. It's good for when you're fighting annoying people that like to kite and like to heal a lot. So uh, just put this on my bar. P provides a little bit of burst. Um, my stats, my buff stats. Here's my buff stats. One more time, let you see that. Alright. Um, you'll be doing a lot of amounts of damage. Don't be discouraged by anything. This build is amazing. That's the last time right there. Um, for the stone, I'm running the shadow stone for more crit damage. I'm pretty stacking 34% crit damage on this build that's where you get a lot of your burst from and burst is needed for this build <coughs> let's take somebody out in a couple seconds and keep it moving because uh you can't dodge roll forever <laughs> uh also 
the skills I'm running. Front bar, I have a uh, body javelin, the best CC for a stand plar. Way better than Wrecking Blow or Disney Swing. Um, Power of the Light, this provides great burst for you. If you can combo this with your crushing sweeps, it's amazing. Also, Rally, Major Brutality Buff. Body jabs, your main DPS. Um, and it snares, so you'll need to run a snare on your bar. <clears throat> and they're undodgeable now. Crit Rush, you got Closer, and then Crescent Sweep. I use Crescent Sweep over Dawnbreaker because Crescent Sweep deals a decent amount of the damage. I've hit guys for 16k crit with Crescent Sweep, 17k crit. So it crits often, it's only 72 ultimate. This is like Stan Plar's version of NCAP. Um, it also has a dot that ticks on you, so anybody who gets in within. I think it's six meters of you will we'll get hit by that dot every two seconds for six seconds. It's pretty good. Even if you miss the crit sweep, you can you can um, crit rush in and it'll proc on the first person you hit anyway. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, well, the dot will proc. I'm sorry. Um, on your back bar, you want to run. Shout out to my boy Prodigy. That's Prodigy right there. Shout out. <coughs> Uh, you want to run on your back bar, Repentance, Vigor, Shuffle, Extended Ritual, over Ritual Retribution because you don't need that stare, your jab stare, and they're undodgeable. And Cleansing 5 harm Harmful Effects, you can't beat that. When people run in Poisons, you just cleanse the Dawn Breaker, cleanse, in cap, you can cleanse the Minor Defile, and your bread and butter right here for Storm Focus. It's the essence of being a tanky and healing a lot better. Um, and Dawnbreaker, I don't use it much on my back bar. The reason it's there is because uh, to buff up my heels. Right now my heels sitting at 11k. It goes up a lot higher when I'm in uh, PvP. So I can put it down, hit a buff, dodge row, and then my heels go up to about 17k. And PvP is about 20. But there you go. Um, Now into the chapter point tree. I'll start with the red tree. We got 50 points in resistance. 11 in thick skin, 55 in hardy, 55 in defender. Um, you want to add that unchained passage, even though they nerfed it, it's still good. You can still use it for shuffle. <coughs> 29 in quick, quick recovery. The reason I have so many points in the quick recovery is because you want to be able to sustain. You want to be able to heal once and then go back into the fight. Um, keep the pressure on somebody. Hunter and the Warlord. Uh, 24 in the Mooncalf. Uh, 1 in Tenacity. 75 in the Tumbling because you will be dodge rolling a lot. <coughs> I got 35 in the Bless for my heals plus my re my uh, Restoring Focus goes to 20%. It's pretty good. Shattering blows. Uh, you need to at least have one point into this to do more damage to shields. Mag Sorks that love to stack shields. Even Dragonites. They got a good shield now. And then you want 100 in the Mighty. 27 in the Thaum Turge. You remember your jabs uh, scale off your Mighty and your Thaum. <coughs> 37 in Precise Strikes. Like I said, this build is built around crit damage when you when you strike. So um, I'm sitting at 34.5%. I got 12.5 here, 10 from the Stamplar passive or the Templar passive, and then I have the Shadow Stone. <coughs> uh, I'll be added attaching some videos at the end with a little bit of commentary so you can see what the playstyle looks like um, I made those videos before the patch just getting ready for it so uh, I'll just give some explanation you can see the damage potential on this build alright guys back to the gameplay this this first one is a pretty long clip um, find two DK's and I believe a Nightblade I'm running food on this build right now uh, I was doing testing before homestead drop so I'm just running different things 
<clears throat> but you see how I took out the first guy. I see the guy spamming poison arrow in the back, so I focus him, dodge roll, dawn breaker. It's pretty much done. <clears throat> Clip that uh, executioner into him. Start focus on this one. DK. It's pretty tanky. Uh, when I put damage and pressure on him, he runs away from me. So I don't, I'm not going to chase anybody. Um, you can go have fun <laughs> running. Uh, I try to go through the door here, and I can't because I'm in combat. Thank God they fixed that. I go attack his ass to get some stand back with repentance, and I see these guys coming back towards me. So I engage. There's a green bar here helping me. Uh, it's not really that much help because he gets bursted really quick. But you see all this pressure I put in on these guys. It's hard for them to deal with me. They keep missing. He missed two dizzying swings right there. But I'm, I don't stay in front of him. That's the whole point of the build. Let them waste all their energy, all their stamina trying to come after me. And I attack when the when the opportunity presents itself. <coughs> I kite a little bit, get behind this tree, heal, dodge row, engage, cleanse that. That's why I love my purifier, man. Cleanse anything. Take the squishy DK out first. And then I focus on the tanky one. <coughs> this guy, I'm critting on this guy for 17k, 18k. He's, he had like 32, 34k health or something. And he's just stacking shields, but it's done for him after a heavy attack. Now going into the next clip, um, I got four guys chasing me. They literally chased me from Bleaker's Outpost all the way over here. They're thirsty for the kill. So I engaged, dropped the Dawnbreaker immediately. <coughs> See the potential of that burst that I have. But uh, I'm running drinking this, and I was stage one vampire, so I didn't get the 10%. So my uh, stamina regen isn't up to par to what it is now. You'll see in the last video. But I'm taking these guys out. They can barely hit me. Taking them out, dealing damage. Before they know it, they're dead. <coughs> this Dragonite was kind of annoying, but it's all good. I take care of him. He's hiding behind this tree. Uh, I go in for a little burst. Try to kill him without my uh, Dawnbreaker didn't work. If I didn't have the heals that I have on this build, I would have died right there. Tell me you got now. <clears throat> the heals are so important. And finish them off. I thought the fight was over, but I, I think they called the buddy over. Yeah, there he is. Level 27. He shouldn't have jumped in. I'm going to take care of him real quick. Heavy attack. Riding jabs, executioner, he's dead. <coughs> All right, this is the Homestead Patch, day one. That power of the light, it's amazing. Every time I see a stand plot, I like to challenge them, see how good they are. But uh, that Sork was spamming frags, so I focused on him first. Went in for the kill, 14K, Crescent Sweep. There you go. There you see the, the damage and potential of Crescent Sweep when it crits. This Stamplar could not deal with my damage. I had him on the defensive the whole time. And my power of the light hit so hard. Check it. 9K power of the light. Like, subscribe, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the video. And enjoy the build.